Victor Martinez here on the last day of Victor Martinez week. What other place if not the mecca of the East Coast bodybuilding? Powerhouse gym in Syosset. Thank you Bev for bringing it to us. I mean hands down the best gym on the East Coast. I mean you can't argue that you know and if you do I mean you're gonna lose. So let's get the show on the road. Uh, I'm gonna start off taking my MHP products. Uh, you know, I always take my Dark Rage, get that rage going when I work out. And um, I mean, again, if you wanna get the best pumps, the best workout, a little Dark Rage in there always helps. And um, the next concoction, I usually mix it with, uh, take that with my BCAAs. I always take my BCAAs before and after my workout. Um, what separates Dark Rage from all the pre-workout uh, supplements, it's definitely the low sugar, uh, zero sugar, and that's what you need, especially me, uh, pre-contest. Um, the jitters, again, you know, uh, I suggest start, start with half a serving. Um, you don't get that real shaky, jittery and the feeling that also takes away from your strength, I believe, when you work out. Um, and by far one of the best pre-workout supplements uh, out there. I mean, you're gonna feel it with the energy you get and the pump you receive from working out. Also, uh, to add to the arsenal, Eno Bomb. I mean, can't get any better than this. Take the Eno Bomb, and uh, I mean, your pump is to the all-time blast. I mean, it's the all-time best. And uh, I mean, again, you could combine the two. You take an Obama alone, it's not, it doesn't give you that, again, that real, you know, jittery feeling. It just blasts your muscles, uh, flows that blood, that blood in the muscle, gives you that excellent pump. I mean, again, you don't lose any strength, you only gain it. Hey everybody, how you doing? Again, uh, I'm about six weeks out from the Arnold Classic. Um, this is, I have to say, the best I've looked uh, till date, um, without no... Uh, you know, no lies. I mean, I, I'm seeing it. You guys are seeing it online. Um, you're seeing it, you're seeing it in my workouts. And uh, it, it, what what's different? I would have to say is I'm eating more. I'm not restricting my body when my body's hungry. I'm feeding it. I'm not re I'm not eating uh, kibbles and bits. Um, I'm really feeding my body. I'm not going hungry, but I am pushing. And if I eat a lot, I will push a lot in the gym. Uh, that's for one thing. If I if I eat a little bit more, then I just do more cardio. But I'm definitely not keeping my body from the food and nutrients that I need. Um, I don't. I know there was a question. Uh, uh, one of you guys asked me online. Uh, do I, you know, pretty much uh, load up with crap before the show? I I don't do that. I've been eating clean. Uh, right after Thanksgiving, I always eat clean. I don't like putting junk in my body. If anything, I might have a cheat meal, but my cheat meals is consisted of seasoned food. Uh, basically, having any kind of seasoning, you know, a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt. That's about it. But as far as junk, junk, I don't really eat junk. I only eat quality food. That's all I do. Uh, I don't like, uh, I don't eat cheeses or anything like that. But at this point, is if it's needed and if it makes sense, I'll do it. But if it doesn't make sense and you're just going to eat it just because uh, you're craving it, that's a different story. Uh, I don't crave much. All I crave is number one. And, and right now, to get there, it's, it's feeding my body, staying big, uh, getting shredded, and bringing that condition. And the condition that everybody's been wanting to see in my physique over the years. And you will see it uh, coming come six weeks, the Arnold Classic. One of the biggest mistakes that amateurs come up to me is they're saying, oh, I'm 260 pounds, you know, I want to get bigger, uh, I want to get leaner, you know, when should I have a cheat meal? I mean, this is after they start dieting for like two weeks. So the last thing you want to worry about when you start dieting is a cheat meal and if you are 260 you got to remember the younger you are the more body fat you're gonna have because you don't have that muscle maturity which kind of you know takes away from your actual muscularity in your body um, e eating clean is very essential again you, you could put on 20 pounds in the off season a lot of these guys say they put on 20 pounds 30 pounds asking me for advice but if that's true I mean they should give me advice because a lot of times it's not uh, quality weight. 
they got to remember that it's not quality weight. And to put on a good 20 pounds of muscle, I mean, you got to be some freak of nature. And, I mean, I never seen it any more than, you know, five to six pounds of lean muscle mass in my body that I can actually bring to that stage. And every athlete's got to remember, you know, if you do gain that five, six pounds, you also got to remember not to over diet to lose that five to six pounds. And uh, that's another thing that, you know, amateurs do it in, the, in the beginning of their dieting is they, they over diet they over cardio and they don't feed enough and in turn your muscles will go hungry and you'll start losing th that muscle that you you work so hard for it to gain so definitely uh steer away from saying thinking you're too big and not wanting to do any cardio it's a thing of the past i mean i remember uh people wanting to walk around the corner and i used to think i'm not going to walk around the corner because i'm going to burn calories well as long as you're feeding it, as long as you're intaking the right amount of protein, it's impossible for you to lose that muscle, especially if you're stimulating the muscle to its fullest potential in the gym. Again, with fat loss and cardio, it's really uh, not that easy to lose the fat. And uh, it's really, you know, very easy to lose the muscle. But then you got to remember, if you're going to do cardio, it's cardio is based on the heart rate. So if you're walking at 2.2 on the treadmill and you think you're actually strolling down the park and you're gonna get shredded, well, I mean, in order to be effective, I mean, you really have to have, I mean, a significantly low amount of calories and you have to walk for about an hour and a half to two hours. Now, do a high input cardio, let's say getting your heart rate between 130 and 140, again, and you are feeding your muscle with sufficient nutrient, your BCAAs and your proteins, it, I mean, you can really pound on the cardio and you need to listen to your body as to when to stop. Again, cardio is very essential to getting that shredded uh, look to your body. Um, mind you, <clears throat> mind you, if you're eating the right amount of carbs and the uh, right amount of protein and you're feeding that muscle, your muscle is not going to go anywhere. Do not get that mentality and kind of stroll down the, uh, the cardio. I mean, intervals do work. They are effective. Again, intervals to do what kind of body, uh, what kind of physique. Again, you know, I like, I me, mean, I like doing my cardio in the morning, an empty stomach, and uh, again at night after my last meal. Why? Because when I'm doing my strength training, I just like to do my strength training and not incorporate cardio there because I just want to focus on intensity, how heavy I go, and how many reps I do with the heavy weights. Now, cardio and trying to train too fast, people like to incorporate that into the workout, but then again, it diminishes your strength level and how hard you can push in the gym. So, interval, it is one way to train, you know, but cardio is cardio and training is training. And try to separate both and don't worry about losing muscle, especially if you are supplementing the right way. Yeah, also a pre-contest, uh, you know, posing is very essential. Uh, is is an isometric movement. I mean, it's it's very very taxing on your body. I, I recommend people to do posing after the morning cardio, at least 15, 20 minutes after the workout, another 15, 20 minutes, and at night again pose at your own pace and hold it as if you're a judge is actually looking at you. So when you get on that stage, you're ready and you're not you know, gassed out. And at the same time, it will improve your condition. Always remember that, you know. It's an isometric movement. You will get a pump and you will lean out each time and you will get shredded. So it's not anything that's going to go against you but for you. Okay, I want to thank everybody, MD. Um, thank you so much for your help and support. Um, MHP, I mean, always there for me. Great company. I mean, I'm happy to be one of the best uh, supplement companies in the industry. Um, and for you fans out there, you know, watch out in the Arnold Classic. Uh, MHP is going to launch a new product. It's going to be a, a great product that uh, you're going to definitely enjoy. And uh, can't wait till it comes out. And I can't wait uh, to see it myself. You know, I'm still on standby and I can't wait to try it.
workout. Um, now it's time to eat. My favorite part. Um, we're gonna go over to my homegirl Mona spot. I mean, Muscle Maker Grill, I tell you. I mean, we do your food exactly like you like, you know, we diet food, all that good stuff. But when you want steak, I mean, this is steak. I mean, this is a real steakhouse. I mean, and the name says it all, Nebraska's. I mean, come on, where are the cattle, man? So, I mean, she's running a tight ship over here. I mean, can't say enough about who she hires to to work for her. I mean, come on. It's Mona from New York City, you know? I mean, it's, uh, you know, one of our newest pros, figure pros, and uh, let's go chow down, come on. Hey MD, welcome. Glad for you to join me at Nebraska Steakhouse, my friend uh, Mona's place. For those of you who don't know who she is, last month my very own friend Greg Valentino named the Babe of the Month. Okay, you just don't get there by being just some side chick. All right, you know, check it out. This is her and MD. I mean, come on, you know, Romanian she devil. Yes, you know, she just turned pro last year. I mean, one of the best. Anyhow, oh, right before I get started eating, I guess I have Ronnie over here joining me. Came to get some steak, brother. The best yeah, place in the world. Up. I had to come by the door, man. Thanks See you for joining me. Yeah. Here. I'll pull we're gonna the chair chop too. down. Yeah, we're gonna get this started now. You know, uh, I love to eat a little bit more, but. My steak, everything has to be pre-weighed so the way I want it. For, the, for you guys, again, you know, that's what separates this steakhouse, Nebraska Steakhouse, from any other steakhouse in New York City. I mean, you have a competitor over here that's gonna cater to every need, and she'll do it just for you, okay? So don't feel left out, come on over. Again, it's a steakhouse, so you're gonna get the best, the prime steaks, you know, money can buy. Okay, Not so. only that, they have the 48 ounce, that's the one I get. <laughs> 48 ounce, baby. I don't know, man. They have a petite, too. I think he's going to order the petite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a petite type of guy. Yeah, so... Uh, Sit next to him, I'm petite. Yeah, so right before I uh, make my order, I'm uh, going to have Bona come over here, ask me whatever exactly the way I want it, and she's going to take us on a little tour to the kitchen. Where's Mona at? Where do you see Mona? You guys haven't hey, seen Mona in a up, while? Girl? How you she's doing? smoking. Oh there she is. Oh! oh look at this! Right. Oh, group hug, group hug, we like that. Yes. What's going on? Nothing, you know. I want to get this show on the road and start getting some food over here. I know, and it's the right place to come, I tell you. Yeah. It's great. So. Oh, yeah, she's got all the trophies hanging around to, you know, showing just, off to all the Wall Street execs over here. You just know. a few, I like to show myself off a little bit. Nothing wrong with it, because I work hard. So, you guys are ready to eat yet, or what? Ready to eat. Yeah. Yeah. You're making me feel small. You awesome. know what I want. I want the New York steak. I know, I know. I know. New York you used steak. to get that big steak, right? The ribeye steak? Ribeye, baby. Right. Right. Yeah. Char it on top. Cook the fat off. Medium rare inside. As you please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, you guys go. Whenever you're ready, just let me know and we're going to hook you up. Right. We're, sure. we're ready now. Let's show, them, show them inside a little bit. Give the audience a little view of yeah. what goes on in there. Well, take okay. the audience uh, to see how you get stuff done back there. All right? Yeah, cool. absolutely. Cool. All right. Let me just. Uh... <laughs> This is it. I love kitchens. <laughs> yeah. All right. New York. Not because I'm from New York, because it is the New York. Okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Alright, I'm just gonna uh, put some sea salt on it. Yeah. No oil for uh, Ooh. victims. Look at that. Hey, nice. Nice job, Carl. Nice job. 
look at that. Oh my God, you know. Let's put a nice little cot over here, you know. <laughs> I, I understand, you know, Branch likes to slaughter his yeah. meat, you know. I like my shit to just be already here waiting for me. That's <laughs> right. And he sits here and waits for the steak until it's done. Yeah. So they don't mess up the steak, right? <laughs> I mean, come on, you know, get a little small animated by you. Know. That is awesome. You know, thank you, MD. Now, this is a steak. Take a look at this, baby. Medium well, a little charred, burn the fat off the outside for the bodybuilders out there. Very lean cut, Nebraska steak. This ain't your little typical, you know, chain restaurant steak. This is prime USDA steak, baby. Learn that shit down in Texas, salt grass. I've been there. Loaded with butter. This is a real steak. Yeah. Well, that talking, man. I just rather eat. <laughs> I'm waiting for my food, so. But look at Victor, man. He's not wasting a second. He's like, hell no. He's eating a steak. That's awesome. Very yeah. good. It's a tradition to start eating sure. as soon as my food gets here. That's right. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Just in case you want to take a look here, zoom in real close here. Just take a look at this, baby. I'll give you a slice down the middle. Juicy baby. <laughs>